Though more places are opening up given phase two, the CDC still recommends face coverings to stop the spread of COVID-19. When reused multiple times, however, these masks harbor a lot of bacteria and viruses. Idaho News 6 reporter Lindsay Anmanson tells us how important it is to sanitize your mask. My wife came home one day, she's a healthcare worker, and she was using these uh, uh, PPE masks, these N95 masks, and I thought, wow, I can't be the only one that would think about this. Masks are designed for single use or to be thrown away after a few hours, but since COVID-19, that hasn't been the case. As masks are being used, are being worn, millions of little uh, saliva particles become lodged in the face mask and those liquid particles uh, contain both viruses and bacteria. And since the environment in the mask is warm and moist, it becomes an incubator of bacteria and viruses. So they teamed up to create a simple solution to this public health concern that anyone can do at home. So we have a container that's approximately seven gallons or smaller. You can use any seven gallon container with a lid. So you put your mask or your PPE in there. Then you put an ozone generator in the tub, which can be bought off Amazon. Press a button, put the lid on. The generator will turn off after 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, when it's done, you just Air it out. This sterilizing process eliminates the concentration of bacteria and viruses in the mask. Up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses are uh, inactivated at fairly low concentrations, between seven to nine parts per million. In our chamber, our enclosure reaches 18 parts per million. The dilution of the ozone in the air once the lid is open is so quick that it's not harmful, but it's still important to do this in a well-ventilated area. The seven gallon tub and the ozone generator can be purchased for less than $100 from any manufacturer on Amazon. In Boise, Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6.